and it's just so funny like watching people's like rhythm like them move to the music that's being played yeah so my question is you have to get up before a panel let's say of four judges right and you can choose the song but you're it's life or death you have to dance to dance to it and they're gonna decide whether or not you live or you die based off of the moves that you put out there to that I'm song. Going, I'm going 130,000%. Like a big fucking steak. Porter house. What's your go-to? Like, I like meat? strip. I'm a strip. What does that mean? I'm a strip guy. Like New, New York, York strip. strip? I'm a New York strip. I don't know why it's New York. Do why is it the- New York? Do you know the differences? Than a New York strip and like a yeah. fucking Nebraska you know. strip? <laughs> no. It's like the New York strip, like one side of the ribeye or something. Yeah, but like, no, like the different cuts. Like they mean nah, something I'm, I'm from different parts good. of the. Not that good. I okay. wish I was. I, you, wish, I wish I knew where it was cut from. Did you think that there was a Nebraska strip? No. Oh. But I was. I, I do wonder why it's New York strip. Yeah, I'm not cows, sure. Cows in New York get that. It's like probably like belly? like the like the meat packing. You know, it's probably like that they cut. Who fucking knows? I was gonna make something up. It's gotta mean something. It's gotta mean something. Yeah, for sure. You know, what one of my favorite meats are <laughs> just to say, rump roast. Mm. Yeah, but do you ever eat that? Uh, isn't that pot roast? I, I don't think, think it might so. be. Pot roast is good. I think it is. Why is it called New York Strip? <laughs> I'll do the googling. Named after New York City because it became popular there first at Delmonico's. Mm. So. How could that not be popular? It's a beautiful strip of steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, that was really it. It was just because of the steakhouses in the 1820s in New York City. That's interesting. Delmonico's 1820. That's a long time ago. Generations. That's a long time ago, man. It's a really long time ago. What do you think the sanitizing of that steak was back then? <laughs> it's so weird that that's what you think about. It's so weird. What does that even mean, You sanitizing? think about how dirty that steak is? No. People that think about the dirtiness of stuff, it's, very, it's so weird to me. <laughs> they definitely didn't wash that steak back then. <laughs> they cut that shit off and put it, on it? Your, put it on your plate. Yeah, but you heat it up, so what does it matter? Nah, you got you to gotta still wash fish. I don't think you do. You don't wash fish. I mean, I don't cook, but you, I don't think it's necessary mm. to wash it. I think it's necessary. Chicken, you gotta gotta but wash. Like, chicken. What are you getting off? Slime. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're getting off slime from the factory. But if there's like and the dirty people that work there, <laughs> if there's diseases, <laughs> like you think a rinse under a faucet is gonna get that shit out of there? No, he's no just way. A fucking freakazoid. You don't wash your meat. I mean, your wife sure. washes your meat. That's a clip. That's a clip. I don't <laughs> wash any meat. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, I never ever think about anything like that unless, like, something has a weird smell to it or it looks weird. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah. I don't ever ever think about, like, germs or dirty stuff unless something is obvious. Unless there's a smell or a mess or something that's like calling attention to where like oh, something's wrong here. So you don't think about the guy making your deli sandwich Never. unless until you open it and it smells weird. Never. Yeah, ne- but uh, not okay. even a fucking thought crosses my mind because like I that's do. kind of like All not a good way to live. I don't think. You yeah, don't but think what so? if it's like a seedy place you're in? Yeah, like, and you have no choice but to be in there. Like, yeah, but I wouldn't go there. No, but I mean, what if you had no choice? Hey, then I would just eat the sandwich and deal with it and not really think about it. You just get a bag of chips. I'd I'll, just, I'll just get a bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have that's package that came from the outside. I mean, like, like put it like this. It, it, like, if it was a real fucking shithole dump, yeah, I probably wouldn't eat. I would just turn around and walk out. You know what I mean? If, if it really looked... It really looked that bad, but I mean, I I haven't been to too many places. You're driving where. on Route 66 for four hours. You find this place. You're gonna eat from there. You you moving on? <laughs> I guess it all depends on how fucking hungry I am, right? <laughs> I mean, at worst case scenario, you stop at like a gas station, and you buy a bag of chips. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. There's but there's so few situations that are at that level of extremity for me. You don't sit in a restaurant and look around your surroundings to make sure that you should get the fish there. Never. Uh. It's interesting. But like, what's alerting you that I shouldn't get my fish? Well, you don't know what a fish at a diner. That's a rule, right? Yeah, yeah but no, those standing it? rules. You go to like, I don't know. You, 
I think the guy that orders the fish at the diner is just as weird as the fucking freakazoid who's like looking around to make sure there's no fish smell who's afraid of dirty fish. Like both of those guys should get an apartment together. Yeah. <laughs> it's just lived like the odd couple. I don't know. I think there's a lot of people that get fish at a diner. That's not so far off. No, but I don't think you're supposed to. Yeah. They're definitely getting a low tier fish. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> fish is just fish is just so Mm. Do you not eat fish? I'll eat it. Okay. But there is nothing satisfying. Like, I get satisfaction out of eating steak, eating right. chicken, eating pizza, eating ice cream. <laughs> I'm eating a piece of fish. It's not. It's just because it's there. Okay. Like, I'm not, like, enjoying a piece of fish. Wow. Never. I, I've enjoyed fish. It feel, all tastes exactly the same. Well, it's how you skirt it up. It's how sure. you dress it. Sure. You dress it. Fish, sure. I, I got a lot of, like, I don't dislike it. But very rare am I going to order fish at a restaurant unless like. And you're like, a sushi guy. I love sushi. Well, that's different. Sushi's okay. different. But that's like different. fish, like cooked fish. That's what I'm. That's what I thought you meant. Like the fish is real. I like that it's light. Whenever you get it. Like if I'm somewhere like in the tropics and they have like a big fried red snapper and I'm outside. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's something I'll get. Um, but like uh, you know, I, I'm not, I'm I'm not gonna order the You're not uh, ordering the mahi mahi, mahi mahi no like the baked mahi mahi okay. with the fucking glaze you know especially not if, especially not if there's like steak or hamburger yeah like, on the menu also the reason why I don't get steak at a restaurant and I know you could change it if you want to but I don't like eating mashed potatoes out in public. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy it fills up the night like it, it, <laughs> or you don't have to eat them i know but then i feel like i'm getting half my meal for 45 dollars. that's such a poor reason to not I enjoy know. what to i me should is switch like it to thing. something yeah i hate when restaurants say no substitutes i mean but <laughs> I, I don't think that's accurate though like they're putting it on there so you just don't ask but yeah, i bet yeah, you yeah. if you ask they do it they'll do it right yeah i'm gonna start doing that here's a question i've been floating out there I went to the con I went to a concert on Saturday night and it's just so funny like watching people's like rhythm like them move to the music that's being played. Yeah. So my question is you have to get up before a panel, let's say a four judges, right? And you can choose the song, but you're it's a life or death. You have to dance. To dance to it and they're going to decide whether or not you live or you die based off of the moves that you put out there to that I'm song. Going, I'm going 130,000% James Brown, and I'm giving it my all. I'm going to sweat till but I do die. You, and then you think you're, you, you're living know. or you're dying? I, I mean, if they have a sense of humor, I think I'm going to live. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think I'll live. Well, if you can just get into it and stay on the beat. Got to get into it. Right. I'm going to die. Yeah, I yeah, got to yeah. get into it. Imagine the pressure. That's like Squid Game shit. Yeah, that's, that's rough. To even start the bopping of the leg. Oof. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be worried about that one. <laughs> what are you gonna dance to? I could dance to anything. What do you mean? It's I life or death. That. What are you putting on? Fucking, you know, Harry Potter soundtrack. What are you doing? What are you dancing to? I don't know. I mean, anything. Your the surf, weekend. I'm a natural the, rhythm. The weekend. A natural rhythm machine. <laughs> it's a pretty narrow. A wonderful dancer. Life <laughs> or death. You got. Uh, yeah, but that's. I mean, dancing by yourself. By yourself is rough. In front of just a panel of people. I mean, how uh, would you start? With no, and you, also you can't like get fucked up beforehand. It would probably be like some soul, some old yeah. soul type shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but it could be anything. You'd look weird though. You'd you'd be doing weird moves by yourself. Everybody would look weird. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing to think about. It is kind of a funny thing. The moves <laughs> that mean, you would I, make. Like it's like what what are we being judged on? Like just I mean because like you could just two step your way you know to the groove. How and, quickly until he like snaps his fingers to the beat? Like that would be one of the first. <laughs> one of the first. That's how you got it. That's how everybody starts off. I mean, you know, like just like, like that, that, like start rocking. Are we all shoulders? Very Napoleon Dynamite. If you think about <laughs> I mean, it. The thing is, is like in that situation, you've got eight eyes on you. Yeah, it's life or death. You got to use every part of your body to win them over. What are they gonna like, hate that you, you can't dance? That you can't stay in rhythm? You just hating? gotta give it your best. Yeah, I'd have to go funk. I'd have to go funk and look like a man. I mean, man. if the music, like the thing about dancing is, like if the music's hitting you and it's honest, and you got rhythm. You're fine. If even if you don't have that much rhythm and the music's hitting you and you're enjoying it and you're honest, I think you're fine. If you're trying hard to dance and be good at it, 
then I think you might have a problem. Well, that's another, and then, that's another aspect of it, though. It's like, you have to be good or else you're dead. dead. And then yeah, some people died. some people just have no fucking rhythm, and then I guess you're in trouble. Some people have no rhythm. Yeah, they might be funny, too. They might live. A lot of they the people <laughs> at the concert I was at didn't have rhythm. Yeah, a lot of people didn't have show no that People rhythm. were actually dancing and not on their phones. No, well, no, they were all on their phones. Oh, okay. Um, Everybody was either on their phones or talking to each other, so I couldn't actually hear so the band annoying. that was playing. It's well. almost you almost can't go anymore. It was a, it was a horrible, <clears throat> horrible was time you went to experience. Show? Long time ago. I Check think. it out. Be in horrible seats. experience. Try being yeah. in seats because I bet your floor is better. You get to move around a little bit. Horrible experience. But seats with people next to you, it's That's almost the last time I went to a show. It's probably when we went to Action Bronson. The people on all four sides of us, either on their phone or talking to each other. Not even with their attention. lights on their phone, too. Well, yeah, there was one. This is going to be racist, what I'm about to say. That's fine. All right, I'll preface it. Preface it. An Asian woman in front of me, young girl, huge ring on a finger with three other like finance bros, like not paying attention at all. They they're, knew they're some there. of the songs. They're just there. I heard them singing <laughs> some of the songs, but they were so into like what the other one was thinking and making fun of something. Yeah. This girl, well, two things. First of all, she's recording the show, which don't do that. Like, why, why do people do that? Not showing it to anybody. <clears throat> Just be there. Right. Yeah, not showing it to anybody, you know? You know? <laughs> and then she had the fucking, the light on, her camera. Yeah. And I'm like, one, you don't need that. And it's like, two, you're Asian, so I know you know how to shut it off. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, she might have needed the light, which you can't see. But did it, didn't I say that last time when I was at the Pearl Jam show? I, I was smoking a cigarette. It. I thought security was behind me the entire time. Mm. And I turn around and it's four spotlights from cell phones. <laughs> it ruins the the moment that you're trying to be in. It's changed everything. And I, and I don't know what they're doing. I, the guy in front of me, I was just like, why don't you just watch it now, dude? Watch it live. You say that? Film it. Yeah. They didn't respond. There was no like turnaround or anything. But it's like, what are you doing filming I'd get that? mad if, somebody, if I was him and somebody said that to me. People sitting down on their cell phones. Why are you there? Why are tickets yeah. so expensive if people aren't? Yeah, paying but like the, the younger kids, like that's how they consume the world. It's like they, you know, they they're not they're like their attention is split all the time. And it's not even always younger kids. It, it's older people with phones because you can yeah. tell by the way they're pressing the buttons. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, this. yeah, yeah. that's and funny. Like two hundred bucks a ticket, like right. face value. Why even come? I get mad when I get stuck watching the TV. Like, yeah. I'll catch myself in the middle of a show, and I'll be like, I'm all I'm doing is watching the TV right now. Like, I'm in the public place instead of staring at the band on well, stage. Well, sometimes, when you have shitty seats, sometimes that's the best you get. Absolutely. Out. But I still want to try and experience. Uh, that's why I love, like, the pit. I, I love it just, like, gen <laughs> general admission, being open. You can walk around. You can yeah. move around. Too many people. I'm going to be standing anyway. I like to have my own structured area. Yeah, but it's not that structured when everybody's standing. In the seats? You're shoulder sh to shoulder. I, like, only want to see concerts, like, in, like, a supper club fucking, you know what I mean? Like, I want to have my own table with service. <laughs> what band's playing that? Like, no, but what? I want... I, no, but, <laughs> I would love that, too. No, but I want, I want the biggest bands in the world, like that, you know? Or the biggest acts. If Rolling Stones. Yeah, I want every, I want everybody. Play at a full like top. Yeah. Play <laughs> or, like, the suites, you know? The luxury right. suites. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I wonder how the suites would be. They're nice. Because everybody's got to be jamming out in that suite or else you're just in a fucking conversation And box. they're not. It's the they're same not. thing. Yeah, it's yeah, It's the yeah. same situation. The people that go there are not going, most of them are not going there because they love the band. A lot of times they're corporate Joes. Right. right. Yeah, they're not Yeah, but attention. in my fantasy scenario, I'd have the suite. I would be in you know in charge of the guest list. Just I'd, invite people I'd, that I'd cu like I'd curate it the, the right way. It's probably still too many people. And we would have a rip. The other thing with the Asian girl <clears> is like they got <clears> so excited when... Like they would play, it was kind of like a jammy band. So they would play their song. And <laughs> what then, did you say in the band? You embarrassed? No. The Dead and Mount Company? Mount Joy. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> I would <laughs> love to go Dead see, I would love to see Dead and Company. Uh, so they would like play their song. And then before they finished it, like four songs throughout the night, they would do a cover. They would like weave in a cover. Right. Mm -hmm. So the one of them, they played like You're So Vain. That's why I was singing that before because I was thinking about the story. Yeah. And the girl, like the only time she got excited, she was aggressively singing of all of the lyrics oh, nice. to You're So Vain, like into her husband's <laughs> face. Oh my God. But it was obvious that she didn't really get what wow. was like what it was about. Maybe she and did. And they're both just like, you know, just like rocking on. Like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Maybe she's smarter than he is, and she does know. know what it means. It's yeah. time to dump that bitch, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, if she was, like, you know, being mean to him. Maybe it's time to dump that dude. Maybe. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Either way, sis, 
You know, dump that dick. Dump that guy. Yeah, concerts have been annoying. <laughs> I want to go. I haven't, all gone, the time. I haven't gone to too many. <clears throat> you should. Check it out. I want to know how that your experience is. I mean, I enjoyed the Action Bronson thing that we went to. Yeah, but that was at like just a small little one level place. place, right? Yeah. I think that's all you could do. Yeah. I think it's all you could do these days. That's what I think too. The other part of it too was it sounded so fucking bad. Really? Where? Horrific. Mass Square Garden. Oh. It sounded by the so Chase Bridge? Fu- no, I was in great seats. Oh, okay. It just sounded so bad. That's mm. really interesting. That's how not the good. How does Master Square Garden sound bad? Yeah. Which, which no, but it's funny you say that because the, the night before I was talking to this guy who's a huge fucking like old school music dude, goes to shows all the time and <clears> said that Master Square Garden, like he's seen some of the biggest bands you could ever think of there. And he's like, it's just a horrible experience all the time. Really? Wow. Yeah. I've, I've never had it since until the Chase Bridge got involved. I've then o- I started hearing a difference. I've only seen Pearl Jam there, and it might have been before the Chase You've Bridge. only seen one show at Madison Square Garden? I've seen Pearl Jam wow. there, I think, more than once. That's crazy. I don't you don't think, go to a lot of shows. I mean, I no, I've been to shows. I just, I don't think I've, like, I saw a tool at the Barclays Center. Hmm. I did. That was, that was several years ago, maybe four or five years ago. That's the same kind of place, though. Yeah. Same kind of venue. And that didn't sound so great. You couldn't really hear his vocals. Really? Yeah, this was the opposite. The vocals were so loud. And <clears> like <throat> you couldn't hear the music. I could also be their guy. Well, that's what I think it was. That's I what I think it was. Guy. It's the biggest venue that band has ever played. Right. My other question Can is you like. imagine making it to Madison Square Garden and people walking away being like, yeah, it sounds sucked. Yeah, but most people don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think most like, people Like, I felt like a downer to the people I was talking to. And I'm like, yeah. that nobody, was fucking horrible. Nobody thought that? You know, and they were like, oh, fucking great. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You know, I just had 16 vodka drinks. <laughs> that's true, too. A lot of people aren't here in regular. And I could, it was a fucking, you know. Well, that's an interesting like concept about like people like. You know, there are people that go to see live music that really love the live music experience. And then there are people that go because they want to party and just sing along to the songs they know. I think it's yeah, more of that. It. I think it's more of that. That's Always. the reason why it's so difficult for original bands to to make it out there in the world of like playing live music. Because Definitely. Because like, you know, you, you need people that are interested in like learning, you know, hearing new music and experiencing new, And also it's got to sound good. Yeah. When it doesn't sound good and you don't know the words, it's hard to to connect. I mean, the other part of it is like you associate live music with getting fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the people there are, you know, tuned. I've been through my days of not remembering, so I try not to do that anymore. It's so sad, too, because I think about that. Like, I was talking uh, about some of the shit that, like, shows that I've been to. And there's so many that I don't really remember that yeah, much of. Good. You know, waste. I mean, it really wasn't a waste of money because it was probably 25 bucks back in the day. <laughs> but, but I, yeah, I get it. There's, there's times that I definitely don't remember a show. Yeah, I think one of the best shows I've ever saw was Radiohead at, at that amphitheater in Philadelphia. Nice. That was. I really, saw them at Radio City. That, that was, was really. Nice. That was probably amazing. That was nice. That Pier 17 venue. That's all. Only place I ever want to see anyone. <clears throat> It's so fucking amazing. Jones Beach sounds really well. Yeah, Jones Beach is cool too. And and I think it's because it's an amphitheater. I think amphitheaters sound great. Amphitheater. Well, ampli- am- am- amphitheater. 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 Yeah, amphitheater. What was I saying? Amphitheater. 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 Shit. That's I, I, can, I can see how maybe it would be. That. <laughs> well, it's also like amplified. Amplified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I can see Am- how it yeah. could be that. Amphitheater. Amphitheater. There's Sounds still, like a lisp. <laughs> There's still a show there. Anderson <laughs> Pock is playing a show. Uh, what's his face? Just Anderson played Pock's last good. night. Post Malone just played last oh, night. Oh, yeah. Was that last night? Uh, last night or the yeah, day a couple before, nights, something yeah. like that. What's the, is that the one? The, the no, one, I'm talking about the Jones one in Beach. Queens, the tennis stadium? That's no, Jones Beach. What's Pier 17? Jones Beach is... Uh, what? what? Roll it back. <laughs> that was definitely a 10 milligram. <laughs> Confirmed. Um, the... Uh, Pier 17 is like in South Street Seaport. It's on the oh. rooftop. So the background <clears throat> is the Brooklyn Bridge. Mm. That's nice. It's fucking That's really amazing. Nice. Heineken sponsored, all <sighs> fucking just Heineken everywhere. If you're into that. I feel like, into I, that I feel like I've, I've maybe gone to some live music, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I it's did really- Forest Hills for a comedy show. That sounded really good. You're sitting on like stone seats like you're fucking in Rome. And you're in the middle of a fucking neighborhood. Yeah. It's so weird. Not a, not a good en- entry and exit You know who plan lives right there? Have. Nikki Silva lives I know. like right there on the same Does block. Does she really? Yeah. Or parking. 
No, yeah, I mean, you're parking. parking. You're in the fucking neighborhood. You're parking a mile away. You park at least. Unless you get there like the day before. Beautiful place. <laughs> yeah. But the street that you're on to get into that venue, yeah. you're there for days. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's cool. Music's cool. Music's great. I yeah. wish I would see more. It's the best. I want to, but I regret it all the time. All the time? All the time, mostly. Maybe go by yourself. <laughs> I'm just no, saying. The problem is, is the fucking, it's just so late and like, the way you got to get there. Yeah, and get I know. Home, and but then what it does to you. Sometimes people next to you are annoying when they keep on talking during songs. That's annoying. Yeah, we talked about that already. I'm going to go do this. Today. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand it. I can't stand people. Maybe that's the Jeez problem. Louise, Papa Nah, Jesus. I love everybody. It's fun to go places. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to be in public. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I obviously understand what you mean, but I, you know, I don't want to think that way. No, I think that way. I when think I, having seats hurts that. No, but when I got there and like, it, it was a younger crowd, first right. of all. But I'm like, I, I, it's, I don't know how the human race has existed still. <laughs> like these people are fucking <laughs> idiots. You know? I don't know how the human race is still existing. <laughs> like, but that's why like, like I, you know, I know you're going to make fun of me and I've said this before, but I feel like I rather do things farther and further between and go super top shelf. And pay for the fucking, you know, the absolute best possible experience. Yeah, but I don't, I'm just saying, I don't know if that's the best possible experience. Well, I don't no, know but if you get like the, the best, best fucking seats or you fucking, you know what I mean? You go to the better right. venue or like whatever it is. That said, I really haven't done live music. A I was going to say, maybe that's why you haven't been to shows. Yeah, maybe, cause maybe. Because it's fucking yeah, 1300 maybe. a ticket where you want to sit. Maybe. But even in that situation, you still got to get in and out of the venue with them just yeah. like, you know. Still got to touch people. Still got to be around people. Yeah. You take a car there, you take a car home, you know, you don't drive, things like that. Yeah, the decision-making process of how you get places is pretty funny. Yeah. And changes usually, like multiple times yes. the day before. We're yeah. not taking the train. I'm, I'm taking driving. the train, I'm going to drive. Now, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? Let's take the train. I don't want to drive. Yeah. It's going to be too late. Maybe I'll <laughs> drive to Babylon. Did we take the train when we went to <laughs> Ashley Bronson? Uh, no. I think that's one of no, the worst drive. ideas yeah. when you like drive to another place just to get like a faster train yeah. or, a or like meet with somebody else. Those are the worst ideas. My wife does that all the time. Oh. She's like, oh, I'm get... taking the train from Merrick. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Why don't you just fucking keep going? <laughs> a couple more miles. You're there. She's like, well, I know it's where I grew up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <sighs> That's funny. The world. You see the new Pharrell Williams movie? No. It's about his life, but he did it in Legos. Oh, I don't like that. That looks weird. That I, looks really, maybe really Maybe it's weird. cool. Maybe. I, I know he has a special edition Lego out right now that everybody's going crazy for. It's like a rocket ship with a yeah, rainbow coming the, out of the it. The whole movie is Legos. He's the creative director of Louis Vuitton. He probably directed this movie, too. I think it's Louis Vuitton. I think he's the creative director of Louis Vuitton now. It's not a full video, though, right? Movie? It's I only it's like... A, I thought it was a movie. Like I thought a it's called Pieces to Pieces or something like that. <sighs> I thought it was like 10 minutes. Oh. Did you guys see the Kanye West documentary? No, that was amazing. What do you mean? The on uh, it's, it's a couple of years old. I mean, a year or two. Oh, what's so, that? It's on Netflix. It's, it's called Genius because he there's a scene in it where he like. Oh, I think show, I saw the first episode. Shows of that his first his, mom. Uh, his first album to Pharrell, and it's really amazing. Oh yeah, I remember really that. Amazing. I remember that. That was a, that was that was a while ago. That was a while ago. I thought it was a new one. No, me too. Because there's some video of him coming out now. I think he's coming back, or he's texting his fans, something like that. Yeah, he's been he's been posting. Been posted. Who Pharrell? Yeah. yeah. Or oh, I'm talking about Kanye, Kanye. Making any new music yet? I don't know, but he's posting. No, I was talking about Kanye. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, that that'd be interesting. To <laughs> the see last album he, wasn't good. I'd like to see what he could do. What about Jay Z? Love it. Yeah, Over. He's going down. I can't wait. Over. Well, is, is anything happening? Come on, hurt, Over. Break, break his heart because he's like not listening to it on purpose. I don't know anything. Like about he doesn't know anything. No, it's not, it's oh yeah, he's in. He's in. What do we got? In the mix. He's in the mix. Last week, met Certainly with a divorce is. attorney and a regular attorney. Ooh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> she wants to leave because she wants to distance herself from him. Yeah. Of the situation, and he's fucking going down. Really? Yeah. yeah. They're really? All, they're all going down. Yeah. It's fucking Pharrell, awesome. too. Yeah, but you know I what? was going to say, no. I thought Pharrell was involved, too, you but know I wasn't what I hate? sure. I hate the fact that, like, she stayed, like, there's no way that she didn't oh, know. Oh, you're going to get hard on her right now? She's trying to separate herself. No, from but what a I'm demon? saying, she I wondered how she should, how she, she didn't know. Yeah, what I'm saying, she's trying to separate herself now because I, 
the, my take. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that she's a good person. Um, but my take is that like it's a PR move. She's trying to separate herself as a PR. Yeah, movie. definitely. But it's like you're telling me that if he was up to no good, which he made a whole album about how he cheated on her and he tried to make up for it, and they had an out public, and she sure, and she made but an this album. This isn't cheating. She this made an like, album. This is this is more than that. Yeah, kids. This is more than that. You think so? Yeah. This is going to ditty parties. Don't tell me, Hova. What do they call him? Freak, freak offs. Freak offs. He's doing, he's doing freak offs. <laughs> yeah, MDMA. But, MDMA. He's fucking what if he's doing it with, with MDMA? With, with MDMA. <laughs> MDMA. Well, that's what the that's what the bottom. GHB. And GHB. <laughs> if he was doing it with like MDMA, consenting adults, <laughs> then I'm fine with it. I mean, if it was underage children, dude, you can't be a consenting adult if you're on drugs. Like that's like. Yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. point of the date rape drug. Oh my God. You give it to the people so that eh, like that. Oh my God. Spread the leggies. Well, what is it now? They say, <laughs> spread the leggies. <laughs> spread the leggies. So now they're saying that it wasn't baby oil or it was baby oil infused, infused with GHB. With GHB. Yeah. Which is crazy because. Rub that shit on your soul. That's exactly <laughs> that movie. That movie, it blinked twice. It's almost identical. Oh, yeah? Yeah. GHB with baby oil. But wow. They, it goes through your skin? Nuts. Yeah. Of course they didn't it does. know. Be like, you know, acid too. It goes through your skin. Like, yeah, let's just lotion. Let's just lotion each other yeah, up. If you're agreeing to get lotioned, Listen, you're into it, no right? There's no agreeing there. There's just there. You're just there. So I can't. I can't Wait, if you're getting it. lotioned up with baby so oil. So here's the deal. You, you consented to, uh, to a certain point. Here's the well, deal. We don't know yet. Maybe they were just trying to moisturize. Maybe they just wanted. The maybe they just wanted to have sex and not get all drugged up. Maybe that too. And they yeah, were just going to be like, oh, I want to stop here. And yeah. Not which do then anal. at that point, why, 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 why do they even like if they if they agreed to get baby oiled? Why do you need the GHB? What is baby oiled? <laughs> I mean, oh, if you're like, okay, I let's just oil. If you're like, it's baby if, oil. If you're in a situation with another human who's like, okay, let's get naked and rub baby oil all over ourselves, you're probably, I mean, they're, they're probably cool with what's about to happen. What do you need the GHB for? I should go to those places instead of the fucking concerts at the garden. Oh, More interesting. Wow. So, my, my question is you, you, you're down in, where do you live? LA, right? You meet up with a friend. You got a friend. The friend's got an into a ditty party, right? You're like, this is a couple years ago, say, five years ago. He's got an in, and you're like, he's your ride, right? So you're like, yeah, let me go check out a fucking ditty party. I right? mean, before all this happened, if somebody was like, let's go to a sure. ditty party, I'm like, You'd be like, yeah. 100%. That's right? what he's saying. So now, figure this. You're there. You don't know where your friend went because he's probably going to go do the freak off. I feel bad for all the people that just like didn't have a ride home, and they got stuck there. You know then what I'm they saying? they got like, baby oiled? Well, they either got baby oiled or they sat in the corner like this outside <laughs> in the back and got photoed and people said that you were there. Jesse, you were there. You were at the freak-offs, but you just didn't have a ride. Yeah, so but, you never went to a freak-off again. Yeah, but did, did <laughs> you, you just see, went once by did, accident. Did you see that video where he was like kind of like Wolf of Wall Street, like up on the balcony being like, all right, you know, it's almost time for the kids to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you uh, know, if, if uh, you know, next time you're going to want, you know, if you didn't get an invite to the after party, you're gonna wish you did, and maybe when you grow up, we'll invite you back. Like, yes, creepy as shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, but in that, like, now because now we know, but I don't think it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's like if if it's exclusively VIP, and there was 500 people there, and now this is like the rich, the super rich and famous, and it's only like the top level people, and they want to be unbothered. Yeah, you're not going. You don't automatically you're not assume that it's an orgy. No, you don't automatically assume no way. that it's an orgy. But if you're a chick that probably looks good or wants a career, you probably know that it's something. Yeah, that's exactly who they were inviting. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same. You got to watch that movie. It's the same exact thing. That movie's good? I, I didn't think it was great, but, but now, now it's, cool. it's <laughs> exactly what was happening. Yeah. Somebody wrote it with that in mind. Well, I think they were kind of trying to t take off Epstein, right? I, th I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe they were at the freak offs. Zoe. Like Kravitz. I've never felt bad for Justin Bieber before in my life, and now I feel terrible for him. Why you feel bad? For him? I feel like he was well, manipulated, molested, abused multiple <laughs> times. And who's ever seen this guy's parents ever? Have you ever seen Justin Bieber's parents? I think they're out there. Mm. <laughs> you ever see him on film ever? I think so. Even when he was getting like handed over by Usher and taken I, in by P. Diddy, you've never seen his parents be like, our son is so talented. I'm so happy. I that think he his has mom is like his manager. Mm, let's look it up. 
Never well, seen a face doing in a my fucking life. Bad job. And if your mom's your manager instead of your dad, yeah, but come right on. now, but right, the, the, the reality <laughs> is right now, like anybody who ever was anywhere near Puffy is like getting roped into this. Well, that's oh, the whereas problem. like the reality is, is, I'm sure it's not. Ever, you know what I mean? Like it's very possible that Justin Bieber was never molested. Oh no, or no anything no, no, no. like that. Out of all people, you can't pick him out. Like I'm talking about the people who were probably there by accident or there once, like the Ashton Kutchers. You know what I mean? Like he's filmed there and shit, but he was probably there like once or twice. Yeah, but Ashton Kutcher also like has been hit with some raps in the past. Yeah, but his whole deal is like saving people that were he, dude. He no, hasn't he, been in anything, and now no, he's like him saving and that guy Danny Masterson, the guy that died or whatever, that got arrested. Like there was some there was accusations against Ashton. No, I, I don't think no, it was no, no, against no. Ashton. That's not what happened. No. What happened was he got him a job. He got he got shit for supporting. Him, he's right. never uh, been. Uh, he's never right. been like uh, you know mixed up with anybody. <clears throat> it's funny though. I just looked it up, and he came up and says Ashton Kutcher terrified Diddy could make up false allegations about his celebrity friends to clear his name in sex trafficking scandal. That's pretty weird. Wow. Oh, Mila Kunis Ash- gets angry and leaves. Ashton so Kutcher I guess the whole thing is like this guy would throw parties and he would bring in prostitutes. He would bring in girls. Yeah, he'd bring in a good time. Yeah, and film you being a freak. Yeah, it's crazy. And then I guess, like, when does he make that phone call afterwards? Be like, yo, Ashton, I uh, got you on video. <laughs> got you on video last night. Remember what you did last night with the baby oils and the GHB? Oh, you don't? <laughs> I do. Here it is right here. Yeah. Text him a little clip. <laughs> He's got his fucking tie on his head. A little POV. Yeah, a little POV action. <laughs> <laughs> of Diddy fucking Ashton Kutcher in the butt. P- he did. He's just walking around with a camera, being like, "There's no tape in it. There's no tape in it. I'm just kidding." <laughs> it's wow. wild. Do you find Bieber's parents? No, right? Yeah, yeah. It says exist. he has a good relationship with them. <laughs> I swear, a good relationship. Yeah, <laughs> they're 18 when they when they had him, so they can only be like oh, 35 now. Right? They were partying themselves. They sold him. <laughs> they yeah, sold him. That kid was making like 100 million dollars by the time he was fucking, you know, like really young. Yeah. I mean, that that like. You know, I mean, tiny scale, right? Like, we're going through this thing that we're going through right now, like, with all this additional work. And, like, like it's insane. Like, and it's going to equal out to, you know, good stuff. But, like, you put, a, like, a kid in a scenario to where all of a sudden, like, it's work around the clock. And the money, the power, the fame. Like, that's yeah, going no, that, to that's gonna screw up is, the most secure adult. It'll screw somebody up, yes. And it screws up child stars all the time. We see it. But what I'm saying is, I'm not. I'm not going to listen to his music. I don't give a shit about his music. I just, for the first time, feel bad for him because he Diddy, definitely was in a bad situation. You think he got baby oiled? I think he got. Yeah, he definitely. <laughs> I think got he baby got oiled. rocked. Well, I think he God. got rocked. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, and why is everybody assuming that Diddy's gay too? Because there's like vi- there's audio of him fucking doing a guy sounding like he's. Hounding the shit out of Malik or whatever the fuck that guy's yeah, name is. Milk. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, daddy. <laughs> like, fuck. It's really bad. It's really bad. I need to hear this shit. You like, can there, get there's it. so much. There's so much. You need much, to look into it. There's so much. This is a Listen, fun rabbit I'm, hole. I'm out. I'm, I'm out on Diddy. I'm not. I'm no longer a fan. I'm not. I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. I'm not saying any of that. Like, no, you do anything even remotely close to what he's accused of. You're a weird person. But, um, but I do think that like the the, the level of of what they're saying is it's like, the internet's just going crazy. Of course, but I think it was big. Like I, I'm watching this thing now. This is related. I'm watching. Uh, there's a Bill Gates like docu series on Netflix, and it 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 goes through like the evolution of how like during COVID they were like, oh, Bill Gates is putting microchips into the fucking yeah. vaccine, and he's the guy behind it. And, like, they show you, like, how that all got made up. Like, they showed you, like... The oh, f- where it started yeah, from. Like and, yeah, like, they showed yeah, you, like, yeah. the first guy, random dude who posted it on Reddit. And then they showed a guy who made a video about the comment that was read on Reddit. Right. And, like, how it evolved. And he had nothing to do with any of it. Right. Like, he never said any of the shit. And, like, hmm. and it really interesting. And, like, so it's, like... That's what happens now, and that like yeah, it's kind of like people's all yeah. You heard about oh yeah, Diddy, oh yeah, that guy's probably fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. he was fucking sticking GHB in their asses. Yeah, you know the what problem, I mean? problem like, with Diddy is like, that he has a lot of videotape. 
<laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I want to see. I want to see. I want to know. You know what's real, what's not. Actual proof. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of like the thing that happened with Trump. Like I, I forget what it was called. Grab it by the pussy. No, 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 no. When he had the, there was like a group so of great. people. I forgot what they called themselves. But there's a documentary on Netflix of how this guy in the Proud Boys. No, not Proud Boys. QAnon. QAnon. Yeah. How this one fucking random dude and his dad Made started shit up. this shit. Just started it, and yeah. there was a huge fucking following. Yeah. Which is nuts. No, it's a wild west, man. It's, you really don't know. I, I got a kid at work that just believes everything no, that's on TikTok. And, and, and then tells oh, like you know, 10 people. You know what he believes? So it was a great bit by Tom Segura. It was Tom Segura and the guy that Joe Rogan always dresses up with. He's that weird. He oh, has Duncan that weird, Trussell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's just an awesome clip like from front to back where you're just in the middle of conversation. Tom Segura's like... Yeah, you know, that's why five years ago I, when I went to Diddy's house, I had to suck his cock on my... Like, he, did, he did, like, this whole that. thing, and he was agreeing with him. And the kid at work was like, see this? I mean, look at this. He did. Like, he sucked dude. his dick. I'm like, dude, it's Tom Segura. Yeah. It's not real, bro. Like, this is a bit. But it was it was so well done and cut. Like, that's a good way to great. go viral. Oh, my God. That thing blew the fuck up. All right, so go ahead. Say, when I sucked Diddy's dick. So when I said... Well, no, when I wanted to be famous, it's like, when I, I've been trying to be famous, but, you know... Diddy wanted to get me on my, you know, I had to go on my knees and I suck Diddy's dick. <laughs> I what? Laughed. Nope, I laughed right after. I can't do it yeah, seriously. You couldn't deliver it. You gotta do it seriously. You couldn't deliver it. <laughs> Should have been like, yeah, I tried to suck Diddy's dick. Diddy diddled me. <laughs> He's like, I tried to suck Diddy's dick, but he didn't let me. <laughs> Yeah. He couldn't make me famous in yeah. any way. He said I was. He said there was nothing that could help me, <laughs> including like, his, his black dick. <laughs> He's like, you should see the people that have sucked my dick, buddy. You're not making the cut. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so lame. I can't so tell dick. you. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's terrible. Oh. Oh. What Damn. a world. What a world we live in. What a life. Diddy, did he do it or did he not? Mm. I'm, I, I want fucking Fifty Cent stock. I don't want it to just be talk, talk, talk. That thing's got to come no, out. I think it's real. I think it's really. I real. think it's real, but it's like, when is it going to come out? It's been so long, and now you probably can't do it because everything's going to be on trial. You know, it's Fifty Cent's time right now. He's about to take over. I'm saying, you know, when it's going to come out the, the night before his new song comes out, probably. Yeah. Mm, that's I think, strategic. I, I think he's done with music. I, I've heard like videos of him like live performances. It sounds terrible. What did you think of Eminem's uh, album? Have you listened to that? Mm -mm. You should check it out. I, you know what? I, like I respect Eminem. Always did, but was never really a fan. Like even back when. Gotcha. Like never really like, like. Uh, yeah, a, a couple of songs I really loved. That one with Jada Kiss. Um. Uh. Not, He's great. Not I just, Jadakiss, the one with, uh, I just think it's amazing how he was acceptable at how dirty he was. I, I went back a little bit after listening to this album. I just went back to the first couple, and it's remarkable how fucking dirty he was. Oh, yeah. He was saying crazy shit. Crazy real Crazy shit. A little misogynist and fucking homophobic. Oh, just, dude, I'll oh, come yeah. up to you and I'll slit your throat. And I'll, you know, yeah, the like, mother shit. And I, and I was, yeah, and the mother the shit mother. and the daughter shit. Yeah, yeah. but the, the shit that they say now, like the sexual stuff, is pretty fucking wild. Yeah, I mean, he was he was just blatantly like, you want me to be your idol, like, type of shit. Yeah. And I was actually talking to Stefan. I hung out with Stefan the other day, and he was like, yeah, because he sounded like a comic book. Mm -hmm. So he made it sound so fun. And I was like, you know what? You're fucking right. Yeah, and he made his videos look like comic books, And he made his videos too. look like comic wow. books. That's, that's crazy, right? He doesn't look like he ages ever. No, he, he looks, looks exactly the same. He's like fucking uh, the, in his 50s. The guy from MTV show. <laughs> he looks the same too, the skateboarder. You know what Ridiculousness. else? Ridiculousness. Was a big deal. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <Rick. laughs> he looks the same too. I don't know if I could prove this, but this would be a theory that I would venture is like you think about that time, right? In like late 90s, early 2000s. Eminem sold, you know, millions, tens of millions of records and shit, right? But all to fucking kids and young people, right? Sure. So how many, like, there were definitely parents and stuff that heard it and freaked out. And a, oh, yeah. a, a decent amount. But nothing like now. You know what I mean? Like, like the reason why, like, like, the, like so many, like. My parents didn't want me listening to doggy style. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that, like, because they heard it was bad. But, like, it's not like now to where, like, they're going to, like they're going to get clips. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm saying the reason why maybe they got away with it back then was not enough people really knew exactly what it was. I don't believe that. 
Well, there was no. I think the, the reason is because there was like one one hundredth of the amount of content that there is today that you can bless right. it with yeah. all the time. Right. I agree <clears throat> with know? that. It's just you just had MTV. Yeah, there was you less just had MTV in the radio. There was less like explicitness. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now just, it's just in your volume. face all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what it is, you know, boobs, butts, drugs, sex, it's butts, it's really drugs, really. boobs. It's boobs. tough. I heard you're allowed to have boobs on Instagram now. I don't think nipples? so. Nipples? I don't I think, think you can. Nipples. I've been getting a lot of like bad Instagram videos. <laughs> bad Meaning videos. like they're feeding you for no reason? No, like there's nudity, <clears throat> but like it's not obvious and ah. then it gets taken down. But I don't know why I keep getting it. Hmm. Interesting. Something with the algorithm. Something with your searching engine. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting boobs in the search engine. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed is what I'm saying. Is that like there are people are risking it. It's getting up. It's and going it's getting viral. Up. And then it's getting taken down. But the fact that it's going viral, I feel like it's kind of crazy. Because that's, I think it should be caught right away. Yeah, I think exactly. boobs and butts have been viral since, you know, since they came out. Yeah, listen, you can put as many boobs and butts on it as you want. I'm not going to complain. No, but I, to be <laughs> honest with you, I'm being perfectly honest. I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. It's too much. It's too much. Too much for you? Yeah, I think so. You see a much. boob, it stops your day? Well, yeah, you got to <laughs> analyze, <laughs> analyze the boob. It's too, <laughs> it's, it's too much, man. This is a snowflake I've never seen before. <laughs> it's too much. You take the biological male sex drive and you, and you combine that with the fact that you cannot get away from it. It's not good. Too much. It's not good for be, anybody. Too much. It's not good crazy. for the girls who where they think that this is what they have to be all the time. Like they like they think that they have to be these ultra sexy, like almost pornographic things, and that's what men want. It's yeah, not, but where would we be if we didn't have sluts and regular beautiful women? Wow. Yeah, I know that's a tough wow. one. Right? <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that like we've been fucking from the beginning of time. Yes. No. We, I, we, I think you're we right. never needed any. We, we never needed any help. You're right. Well, you just want to be able to control it. Yes. You it's, know, it's too like much. When I want to watch it, I'm going to find it. I've noticed But just more because butts. I watched it, don't send it to me for the rest of the week. You know? <laughs> that just um, it make me feel bad. Yeah, I'm saying. I want to control it. I hit up four times already today. <laughs> it's like all the other good things. Like, I, you know, I look up, you know, how to eat healthier green beans. Right. You don't give me that all week. Nope. The green beans get pushed to the you side. Know? <laughs> Next thing you know, it's hashtag throat goat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just nothing but yeah, I want out. I want out. I followed that. I... I followed, not followed, but I went through, you know how you could just bust through their stories, not stories, but you could just bust through their reels. Sure. The fucking Huck Tua girl. Yeah. That girl's gone everywhere now. I think she's, she's literally all across the United States. Yeah. Because she said Huck Tua. That's <laughs> she has fucking her own podcast. ridiculous, it's Talk bro. to her, right? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. But dude, she was with uh, Whitney Cummings yeah. interviewed. Oh, yeah. Matt Reif. Like, I mean, what, what do you the mean? Fuck? She threw out the first pitch at the Mets game. Did she really? You didn't know that? No, I didn't get that far in my scrolls. <laughs> I just see her all over the I place. Mean, she I, threw out the first pitch of a Mets game. How does I, that happen? I want, I like, I, I, I don't want to hate on her. I want. I, I, I'm I not want, hating like, I'm on her at all. Her. It happened to her. I just don't understand how it's it goes sad. that it's, fast. It's pretty fucking sad that this is what is what's what's up. But I'm happy for her. No, you got to get it. It's not going to last. No, her podcast is not going to do well. It's not going to last at all. I mean, unless she's that she's got some. No, she she's doesn't. A fucking dumb Southern idiot. Yeah. Well, that's a little harsh, guys. But all right. <laughs> no, I mean, but she's ta- she's a little talented. Talk talent. to her. She's talented. <laughs> She's talented. <laughs> <laughs> Think she's talented. We don't even really know. Well, I hope no that, she that she gets talented. a good financial advisor and she doesn't spend the money. And she, she that's the thing. She's she, got to keep she, everything. She's she got to invest by houses. You know what I mean? Like that's or is she do. just going through this experiencing, just getting everything on the hand, you know, on the arm? You know what I mean? Like, is she really making money? No, right I think now? she's getting paid like fucking like big money for, from for, who? For, for, for like uh, you know to show up places and stuff. Yeah, appearances. God, yeah. how's that a thing? I don't know. Like, and who are the people that are going places? Like, yeah, we're going to, to see fucking XYZ this girl. Disco Club to see Talk to her. <laughs> that's, that's how I felt about like the Jersey Shore people. Like, who <sighs> is taking time out of their day to go to a club to see Mike the situation Wait, from how about this? Jersey who, Shore? Who are the people that like stand outside of concerts, like like screaming and yelling and crying? Who are they? I don't know. Who are the people that like the paparazzi who take pictures and ask for autographs? Well, who paparazzi, are the, they're no, trying to yeah, get money. Right, making but money. who are the pictures? people that like stand out looking for autographs? Who are, who are those people? That's know. an interesting conspiracy theory. They stand on theory. long lines. To to like, like maybe they're not even real, those people. They're real. I see them when maybe. I go into these concerts. <laughs> like super, super fans? 
maybe they think like something bigger is gonna happen. It's like, yeah, if I get his autograph, maybe he'll fuck me or something like that. I, you know what? I think 85% is that. Yeah. If wow. you're going to Johnny Depp to ask Hang for his out. autograph and stand outside the courtroom for fucking 19 days while he's talking about his ex. You're hoping he's gonna autograph your ass You're hoping that he's gonna audit, no, right here on the movie, mm -hmm. right here, and then say, yo, I'm staying at 785 uh, West Palm. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're waiting for. I think that there's a lot of that. This, Yikes, how man. else are you wasting your time? What's so interesting to me, and I think I've said this before too, is that like once upon a time before all this shit, like in my mind, like nothing would be better than being famous and being like rich and famous and a celebrity. And the more See, I think about it- way much cooler than fucking The more famous. I think about it now, like I think it's actually horrible. Yeah, it can't, it can't horrible. be that fun. How, it's horrible. There's it's like, it, it's like this dark, twisted like universe that these people exist in that's like so fight fake everything they do is fake yeah the people that are There's obsessed very with them are few fake. that can maintain it and maintain but i mean every spotlight. every day somebody it comes out that like you know the person who you thought was cool and regular is yes. you know banging children or something weird shit like that and you is that I mean? even like, real yeah i hate it people just starting rumors to blackmail you we're who being knows? really negative on this i show. would hate to be blackmailed yeah. That's like... I, f I have fear of that all the time. Yeah? What'd you yeah. do? <laughs> What'd you do that I got on you? No, it's just that's a thing. It's like it's when like, you just got to go, all right, all right, I'm yeah. done. I'm over. Just you do just whatever you want. put your hands up right away? I mean, if they, you know what I mean? Like, you can't... Like, I feel like if you get blackmailed for anything like that, it's like, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to fucking... Well, what's so... Well, I mean, you're not going to... You wouldn't do it because we're not built that way, but what would be the bad thing that would make you give up? Murder. That you killed somebody? No, or someone says, oh, I'm going to blackmail you. you, dead. Right. I'll fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to blackmail me? I'm going to murder you. How about that? That's it. That's all you got to say. <laughs> I'm going to take your crime and raise it higher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the worst exactly. one ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are they going to say? You're going to say shit because she's not going to be able to find you. Yeah, You're going to be dead. <laughs> so then why don't people say that when Puffy fucking calls him on the phone and says, yo, I need my star to be in this movie or I'm blackmailing you. I'm sure dead. that's what he did. But nobody said, nobody came back to him and said, well, I'm going to kill you. I'm sure some people <laughs> I tried. bet you they did. Yeah. Like, shit, night. They probably again. did. And he was like, all right, I'm good. You know? <laughs> Put that video <laughs> on Black the, the somebody else. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. You got to, like, up the crazy level, like you're saying. Okay. You know? All right. Little note to what everybody. Is, what are they going to do? I don't know. You'll never find me, bro. You ain't going to kill you, me. Do you kill them before the or news? after they tell? Oh, you have to kill them before. I mean, either way, you're killing them. Then you got to hide it. Yeah. That you killed him. <laughs> you, can't, you can't come out and say that you killed him because he was going to say something because then you're just outing yourself. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but how are you going to know when he's going to... Why'd you kill him? I had reasons. <laughs> I mean, maybe you just don't tell him you're going to kill him. Like, what's going to be the thing that's going to stop you from killing him? Because well, he already whole, has the information. The whole point is that you don't want it out. Yeah. Right? Right. So you got to kill him before he puts it out there. <laughs> but what if what I'm saying is, like, he says, all right, I'm going to blackmail you. You're like, all right, I'm going to kill you. Right. <laughs> He said, okay, now I won't blackmail you and you're just going to believe that person? That's where the cards are being dealt. That's, mm. a, that's a tough game of poker right there. <sighs> yeah. I think you still got to kill him. I'd let it go for a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't, I mean, he would just do it and then you'd have to kill him anyway. It's true. Or not and just face it. Yeah, face the music. What's happening? I was going to kill him two weeks ago. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I let him go. Didn't get around to it. <laughs> and now he blackmailed me. Fuck. <laughs> Should have killed. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's exhausting. Life, everything. Yeah. Right now. What do you got going on, Jesse? Oof. Just trying. Just trying to. You know. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you mm -hmm. take a ten milligram too? I didn't. I should have. <laughs> um. Just trying to stay afloat, bro. All right, jiu-jitsu is going all right. You make your fucking brown no, belt yet? I'm What's a, going I'm on? A few weeks I haven't trained. There's been so oh. much crazy shit going on. When's There's fucking no Bane coming down here to beat your ass? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, if he, if he comes down now, I don't stand a chance. Oh, now we got excuses. Imagine him being like, "No, nah, 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 I know he's in town, but nah, had I a rough never, two weeks. You know what? Don't bring him. Never, by. I ne never. I'll rip my shoulder out again <laughs> for that. I mean, that's an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm putting fifty I'm, bucks on you. I'm I, like, if that happens, I'm going for broke. <laughs> we would. We should definitely do some like some promotion. Gambling. No gambling. Yeah, let's do it. 
Like, if you guys actually do, like, do a match, like, the odds, what, what would they be? I, I, I don't know. I was jumping the gun. I got to see him in person to see what I'm he really looks you, like. I'm telling you, he's not. Because he keeps on telling me equal, equal, equal. I don't Look him up right now. How tall is Tom Hardy? It does, I, Tom, this is the second show I'm calling you out on. Six <laughs> six feet? I don't care if he's six he's feet. He's not six, six feet. feet. Now you, this is, what, are you, you trying don't to have think a he's hop to a moment right now? Definitely. What do you think? Wow. Right? That's fucking, that's you're, what this, no, I'm not. You're going to have, now your your podcast is called Talk To A. <laughs> You Googling him? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's six feet. <laughs> he's not six feet. Why do you think he's so small? I don't think he's small. This is the guy that played the bro- the twin brother gangsters, right? Yeah. You ain't fucking doing five nothing foot nine, this guy. bro. He's exactly five high as me. How is he five foot nine? I don't even know who he is. So watch mean? that movie. I don't really know who called? he is. What was that gangster movie called? It's a great movie. You don't yeah. know who Tom Hardy is? I mean, like, I know him, but, like, I wouldn't know him if he no, came he was in, in here weird and movies. fucking punched he was, me in the no, face. No, you didn't really, in that movie, oh, what the fuck I've watched called? all his movies. I mean, not all the movies, but you can most try to make a move on him when you get him down. Hey, Tom, you guys, you guys put this baby oil on. I swear, there's no G. <laughs> <laughs> I put oh, it yeah. on before every match. I go in the back and wrestle. <laughs> yeah, that, I put it on before every match. You think he's ever been to a Diddy party? He's probably been to a Diddy party. <laughs> fuck that. No, no way. You think you and McGregor was ever at a fucking Diddy party? Definitely. In the 90s? Uh, no. Yeah. Early 2000s? Without a doubt. You think he was like a Hugh Hefner? Yeah, everybody. You think everybody yeah. was going there, bro. The guy was fucking. He ran the scene, bro. Diddy ran the city. Hmm. People would say he wasn't that smart because he got caught, but it lasted a long time. You have to. Did know. we put that clip out of the, the me and Tom Hardy fighting yet? Not yet. I don't man. think so. Not yet. <clears throat> Gay says he's coming. I think he would get trounced. No, listen. If I do, I'm cool with it. If I don't, I'm going to be like, fuck you guys for down. <laughs> I told you I would already put money on you, but I would probably be rooting for Tom Hardy. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> so fucked up. That's how you get a win-win, brother. You know what? I might be rooting for him, too. <laughs> like, while, like, while I'm in there, you know? Well, you're just fading your own bet. I want to know how long it would take me to say, man, this is fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> it would not be boring. You've never seen, like, sport like that live? No. Like a tournament or anything? No, I haven't seen any of that. I watched wrestling a little bit in high school. That was it. Can go either way. It, it can be really boring and it can be very electrifying. I'm sure, but it, I think more often than not, it's pretty boring. It's when you get on the ground, it's fucking boring. Nobody can see what you're doing, especially at the highest level because there's not a lot happening. Yeah, right? there's only like it's, two or three moments. You got to kind of and you like this. Yeah, but I, oh, I think you could probably say that about a lot. I mean, to me, I think baseball is one of the most fucking boring things ever. But it's I a uh, totally different sport. No, but what I'm saying is, is that like to to appreciate it, you got to know about it. And but the, for with jujitsu, if you don't know the rules of baseball, you're not American. No, what I'm saying is, is that mm-hmm. for for the most part, for the most part, people that <laughs> watch jujitsu or would be entertained by jujitsu, it's a lot different because most of the time they do it. You know what I mean, like. Like ninety percent of baseball fans don't, don't play, play baseball. professional baseball. Yeah, I think you know that's what I mean? what makes like, it a great sport. <clears throat> like it's a little different with jujitsu because of like you, you go to a jujitsu event, ninety percent of the people that are in there are practitioners. See, it's a but very that, different that's thing. That's what I don't like. I think that's what I, I think don't really like cool. about a sport or a hobby like that. It's a it's, you're like a cult gang. It's like, definitely it's a cult like, gang. Like like me, me walking and Nick in. Actually, talk if about I that went to last. one of your tournaments, I'd feel <laughs> awkward. Why? Because it's not warming. It's not and a welcoming it's, it's, it's community. Not a, yeah, it's not a welcoming place where yeah, they're it's like, like oh. right, it's like rival gangs just lined yeah, up. Yeah, and it's just like you have your own little language. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Well, yeah, but your whole what, everything you're saying right now is all about like the fact that you aren't comfortable because you don't know and because you want to feel comfortable. Like no, and then it would is, also it be just kind of shitty. No, 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 because it's like instead of like going there to experience something new and see somebody that you know. You're, it's all about like, well, I'm uncomfortable because I don't know this and I can't talk about it. So I bring, my kid, cheesy. I bring my kid to a baseball game. While I'm there, I'm explaining the rules to him. People around us are explaining yeah, the rules to easy. him. but that's easy. It's America's it's friend- oldest fucking sport. Right. Everybody knows what it is. A football game. Any game. Same thing. This is different. So then it proves my point that you are a culted <laughs> fucking group that don't really want outsiders. Unless you're you join the fucking band. No, I, they're trying hard to fucking to blow it up and well, make, make it, big, it more but warming. But it's it's it's. it's <laughs> I don't think it's ever because like combat sports like are you know highlight reels is what fucking sells combat sports, and it's not the same thing as like when people knock each other out. 
I don't think it's never going to be big like that. I don't think. UFC's open. It's pretty yeah. boring. <clears throat> Jiu-jitsu? Yeah. Now that I think about it. Like, I enjoy it. <clears throat> but it's it's really boring, actually. I, I understand that. I, like, <laughs> I, I, I like karate. I wish karate was cooler. It's not. Then Karate's but That's not even really fighting. It's not, it's not but like I'm that. just saying, like, you go to, you go to a boxing match. You go and sit down in your two seats, and you're saying, "All right, I'm gonna wait until one guy fucking falls down to the ground, and the other guy wins." That's what you're looking for. With jujitsu, it's kind of like. I don't know what the fuck's going on. These two are on the ground. They're fucking holding each other. They're doing this. They're doing that. Nobody knows any of the moves. And no, then the but, fight's I mean, over. The people, the people, that, the people that know the moves know the moves. Yes. But again, what I'm saying is I walk in. I don't know money, many rules about boxing or many rules about UFC. I don't know yeah, if you're yeah. allowed to use your elbow no, or whatever. I'm not, I'm, it's I'm, a friendly environment where people are just talking I'm, about knocking the shit out of each I, other. I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna argue that because you're right. It's definitely like if you don't know what you're looking at, it's it's boring. It can be boring. There are right. certain matches that are super dynamic. Sure. Where like that it's there are matches that you could watch and there's no way you won't be entertained. Right. But then there are a lot of matches that are just fucking really slow and fucking they're not doing a lot like what he's saying and that, Definitely. that that's not enjoyable. Yeah, it's I like, don't even I don't I, I don't even enjoy that. Right. <clears throat> yeah, even the end of it, you know, it's like you don't know how much pain that guy's really in. Right. If there was a way that you could feel that pain. Then you no, but when when, when you when and then you, it's just like, oh, he tapped him, you know, <laughs> no, but or he tapped have, on the mat, or when right. whatever he did. Clear and obvious submissions, like when a guy gets choked or a yeah. guy gets fucking flying arm barred and things like that. I mean, those things are, are that's they're exciting when they're done in, in and out of scrambles and shit. What's a flying arm bar? Is that like a um, when like, they throw them against the ropes in wrestling and then just put your arm out? Is that a flying? It's arm like bar? if you and I were standing up and I jumped up and grabbed you and fucking broke your fucking arm. Oh, and is that? Why? Oh, just your arm. I, I was thinking about like when you jump on the back of the head and like roll them over, put your feet on their chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> like, in, in that neighborhood, the old monkey grab. You've seen, <laughs> yeah, you've seen that move in movies. Yes. So it's in that yes. neighborhood. You know what I mean? In the neighborhood of the monkey grab, not the same house, but you know, on the same street. <laughs> anyway, what else you got? I don't know. I drink so much water here when we do this. That's show. good. Water's I good know. for you. I need it. I had a headache all day. I'm off from work, my like main job all week, and it's very weird. Doing like little odds and ends at the house. And you couldn't get here you know, till four o'clock today. Well, go I back had, to work. Well, I don't have a babysitter, so I had to make sure I got the kids today. Uh -huh. Usually, I just come right from work. Mm, I'm not gonna ask my parents for like one hour. It doesn't work that way. Staycation. Remember when I said I never did that, and Kevin Herrera got so mad at me? I do. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first one. Yeah. That I don't. That there's nothing going on this week. I kind of want to do that. It's it's kind of nice. I mean, the kids are off Thursday and Friday, so I really only got three days. But for what? Russia, hang on. Uh, got it. Gotta be home before the sun sets or rises. Got it. Got it. The rules are. Right, you know what I'm saying? Nope, I haven't heard anything you guys have said for the past. Three All minutes. right, I'm gonna get a ten milli for the next show. <laughs> See how that goes. Is that it? Are we, are we, are we done? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for coming. And hello. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on forgetting to say hello.